So, just another quick video about a new feature in the latest version of Virtual Studio 2021, which is built 7059 at the time of this recording, and that's the loop out trigger option in the PUI editor. So, what is that? Well, uh, actually, I've loaded a track here, and it already has a few hot cues. I can so, they act like you would expect, right? And then I can uh, say, I want to add a new one. And then go to the next. Here, see, I want a new one, and then I just click it up here or down here. So now I have a fourth one, like you would expect. But then I can also do go into the PUI editor, you can do that in a few places. Uh, one of them is by right clicking the waveform here. So now I get the PUI editor down here, and you can say I have my new cue point down here. So let me just go into that one right now. It's the type hot cue, so just a regular, regular cue, but I can change that to be saved loop like this. So uh, I now have a safe loop of four beats. I can change that and no slot. What does that mean? Well, that means if I go into safe loop over here, that's, that's no one. But if I pick a slot over here, let's just try, try putting it into the fifth slot, just to see that it doesn't necessarily have to go to some place as the name of the hot cube. So let me try fifth. You can see it goes in here and we have a safe loop. Uh, and if I go back to hot cues, it's still up here as the safe loop five. Uh, because it's the fifth slot, but it's the fourth hot cue. So just to mix, mix with your brain a little bit, to see that that's possible. Uh, it is also now up here as a safe loop indicated in text. So, so that's nine. That, that's, of course, just the title of the hot cue. So that's the one up here. So what does it actually do? Well, uh, if we go back to saved loops, here, you can see, and I go back and play. You see, it doesn't do anything. And that's because it's not armed. That's how safe loops works. So if I uh, I arm it, so now it's armed. Then uh, let me just disarm it a little bit. Arm it. Then whenever I get to that place in the track, it'll start looping. Like that. So I'll disarm it again. That's a little different from triggering it from a hot cues. Because uh, if I click the safe loop here, go back. Click the save loop here, it'll actually jump and play the hot cue, just like any other hot cue, but it'll then also loop. So that's a little different from arming it in the other uh, pad page. So it's like this. You can see it jumped straight to the, uh, to, the, to the correct place, started playing, and started looping. So that's all good and fine, but that's been a feature in Virtual TJ for some time now. So uh, what's the new thing? Well, let me just uh, do this. So de-engage the loop. The new thing is the auto trigger. So I can now say, well, you should not need uh, for me to arm this after the final loop. It should just always work. So I'll put an auto trigger here. It has a slightly less gray coloring. But the main part is that if I then unload the track here, just to make sure that I know what, how it's going to work, and I reload the track and start playing it, then I don't need to go arm the actual the actual safe loop, uh, it'll do that automatically because of the new feature. So let me just go back to hot cues and just start playing the track. And as you can see, because of the auto triggering, it's doesn't need to be armed, it'll auto arm it and it'll auto trigger this safe loop uh, because of the little thing in the in the PUI editor, the little auto trigger. So that's really the new feature. And of course, since you can't really see it out here, if you're used to working with safe loops and you're used to seeing those, you can't really see that it's going to auto trigger. It can be a little scary, but for now it's just available to see here in the PUI editor. So that is the new feature.